All right, back again outside the gym. It is Brandon again. Obviously, and as part of that, what do I have? I have my little pre-workout. I have my little Pop-Tart golden ticket. You guys should already know this is the chocolate peanut butter. And it's interesting because I had that video up, I think earlier this week, maybe. I don't know when, Monday? Pre-workouts and Pop-Tarts. And a lot of people got mad because I called it that. I showed a picture of Pop-Tart, but I didn't actually show a Pop-Tart within the video. So I have them here for you guys today. Now, obviously, with these little guys, I'll tell you why I like them in just a second, but first. Are you not entertained? Bringing the mints on a daily basis. But for these, a lot of people ask, and I know a lot of people that aren't from the States or even who maybe don't even like Pop-Tarts, they don't really get like what the whole fuss is about. And to be honest, there's not a big fuss about Pop-Tarts. They are not anything spectacular. If you haven't had them, I wouldn't say you're missing anything, but they stand for something completely different. But for me personally, I find that having them pre-workout is nice because literally for a package of Pop-Tarts, you're looking at like 400 calories, most of which are all carbs. It's something that's very easy to eat on the go specifically. You don't have to heat them up and they're decent tasting. But most of all, they don't really fill me up to the point where I feel sluggish in the gym. So if I'm running behind or I need to grab something really quick on my way to the gym to give me some energy, these are a great tool only because, again, they taste decent. There's a lot of calories in them, but they don't make me feel bloated. So I can literally sit here outside the gym, eat these, go in and do some light warm-ups and do my mobility work. And by the time I lift, which will probably be like 20 to 30 minutes from now, not even phased. So we're going to go in, eat this, do that. See you soon. All right, so after having fucked up yesterday, today is actually my squat and deadlift day. Four sets of eight at 320. No bell, of course, because we're not going over 400 pounds. And I wanted to talk about the cue that's helped me the best. And that is to think of loading all of the weight on my heels like a spring. So think of like a pinball launcher where you're really kind of pulling back and creating tension here. And that's what I'm trying to do. So loading up all the weight on my heels. And then once I get down to a position I'm comfortable with, exploding up. And I found this has helped me a lot really keep my form and keep my balance because otherwise, if I don't think of loading the weight on my heels, I have the tendency with my other mechanics to lean too far forward, get off center and get off balance. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense and I'm trying to show you all these different angles here. And one of the other things I wanna talk about in this case is this sweet, sweet back cleavage. So all the front cleavage gets to love a lot of times, but here you're seeing what I'm trying to do with my low bar position is really pinch my shoulders back. And what this is doing is really giving me a shelf, first of all, to hold the bar on on my rear delts, as well as keep my upper torso really tight. And that's really important. I think all too often people really focus on the lower body, which again is really key in a lot of cases, but it's half the battle. It's like trying to shoot pool with a rope. You know, it's just tough to do. It's like if you drink too much and bring a girl back and get her into bed, if you had too much booze, half the battle is getting her in bed. The other half is staying big, if you know what I'm saying. So keep that in mind. Upper body tightness is key on the squat. But I think one of the big problems is, and you probably already know this from watching my videos, is there's a lot of cues for a lot of different things. So it's hard to work on everything all at once. So what I would really suggest is pick one thing to focus on and try to get that down before you start trying to do everything all at once. I know I've run into this problem before where I try to do way too much way too soon and I end up just getting really frustrated because everything starts breaking down. So pick one area to work on and focus on that and once you get the hang of those things then move forward and try to work on something else and I think you'll be more happy in the long run doing it that way. So here you see the last set again of eight and all of these went really well. I didn't really get tired at all. Going into this workout, I was kind of worried about, you know, even though this isn't really too heavy, I'm not wearing a belt, it's a lot of reps and I felt really tight beforehand that I wasn't really sure how it was gonna go, but really pleased about how the day went overall. Now the beginning of these reps, my depth isn't really where I want it to be, but by the end I'm on point. So really happy with the progress I've been making so far. Also today, breaking out the camouflage socks, so it has some blue, some gray in there, trying to mix it up, only because when you wear solid black shoes and solid black high socks like I normally do, and those knee sleeves, which are also black, makes you look like you're wearing leggings. And no offense to anyone in that crew, I just haven't really bought into that craze just yet. Never say never though. We then moved on to two sets of eight for deadlifts using 380 here, and I'm trying to utilize a cue here of pulling my chest through and externally rotating my shoulders. And it probably doesn't make too much of a visual difference, but it makes a big difference in the feels department. So these felt really fast and really strong. Again, not using a belt here only because the weight isn't anything overly heavy for me. So working on that core strength, that we don't have to do a bunch of bunch of abs. 
Now moving on to the second set here, again, everything was moving really fast, utilizing some bumper plates here, trying to pull the chest through up top without overextending my back, and the workout went really well. Besides this, I also did a couple of sets of leg extensions and leg curls and called it a day. As always, you can find out more if you follow me in Photocracy, which is linked in the description box below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.